8 to 1. The recent heat wave has been driving barbecue charcoal sales in the UK, but is it also fueling global deforestation and climate change? Last year, Britain imported tens of thousands of tons of charcoal. It's much cheaper than sourcing it from within the UK. But as our environment correspondent, Navin Singh Kadka, has been finding out, there could be much bigger hidden costs for the environment. It's that time of the year again. Barbecue season is upon us. And this is what's fueling the feasts. Britain imported a record 90,000 tons of charcoal last year. It is cheaper than sourcing it here in the UK. But where is it coming from? And at what cost to the planet? To find that out, I have brought random samples of charcoal from shops in Britain to a lab here in Hamburg, Germany. The tests will tell us the species of the wood and possibly where it is found. We used a 3D reflected light microscopy to make a 3D scan of the surface which looks like a little mountain and then we produce pictures of these important areas for the identification. So Volpa, can you tell us what did you find for us? Yeah, I can. So within the investigation of the four assortments that you brought to us, we found a mixture of timbers which are naturally uh, originated in uh, tropical or subtropical uh, areas. For example, we found eucalypt, which you can find in Australia, naturally, or uh, we found some Fabaceae species, for example, acacia, something like this. So these tests have shown us that this charcoal is from tropical region. What we have not been able to establish, even in case of certified wood, is whether they are from sustainable sources. We'll put this to the FSC, the Forest Stewardship Council. I'm sure that there has been tropical charcoal coming into the UK market. I'm sure that most of this will have been without an FSC logo, but I cannot guarantee that there hasn't been a problem with some of the FSC certified materials. Since last year, we have been specifically looking at the charcoal business as a risk area. We found charcoal where we were uncertain about where it came from and thought, hmm, this looks different from what we would have expected. Amongst the main suppliers to the UK are countries such as Nigeria and Paraguay, where deforestation is a major issue. This problem with complex supply chains reaches far beyond Britain's borders. The World Wildlife Fund in Germany has long been campaigning for a better system. Most of the charcoal traders, they are importing from other countries and continents because the profit is bigger, so they earn more money. So the question is why? If, if they are safe and they are convinced that everything is fine, why not putting it on the, on the package and informing consumers this is coming from Africa? The charcoal industry is seen as high risk by conservationists who say it contributes to a worrying global crisis. Last year, we lost tropical forests equivalent to 21 million football fields. That's 40 pitches a minute wiped off the face of the earth, which is more than half of all global deforestation. There are very few laws in place to regulate the charcoal industry. Until that changes, the true cause of our summer parties may never be known. Navin Singh Karga, BBC News.